All righty. Hello, hello, everybody. First and foremost, as always, can everybody see me? Can everybody? Well, you can't see me. I'm behind the camera. But can you see? Can you hear my voice? Are we live? Are you alive? Let me know what's going on. Let me know if the visuals are visualizing and the vocals are vocalizing. Let me know what's going on. Yes. Hello there. Hello to you. Okay. Hi. Hi. Yes. Hello. Yes. Everybody's good. All's good. Everything's good. Everything's cool. Cool. All righty. So without further ado, let's get down to it. Welcome, everybody. So, hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to make clay pots out of AstroTurf. It's easier than you think. And we're doing it live. We're doing it live. Our first live build. Yes. Yes, we are. So today you can kind of see what's going on here. And you can see from the thumbnail anyway, what we're going to be building, but I'll show you the box. We're going to be building this thing right here. The Lego Infinity Guntlots. Yes, we're going to be building us the Guntlots. So there's the Guntlots. More Guntlots. The Guntlots. Oh, the Gunt oh, the Guntlots. The Guntlots. I know it's a gauntlet. I just like saying Guntlots. But that's it. Box. Yay. Get out of here. So let's get down to it, because as always, ain't nothing to it but to do it. And we have our instrucciones. Ay, que instrucciones. Ay, 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 ay. So how's everybody doing? <laughs> Better keep that thing away from mascot. No, mascot's cool. He's cool. He doesn't have a problem with it. So what are we doing? Okay, so we got three bags. We got three bags full of parts here. Everything, as you can see, is already sorted out in their individual steps for the sake of time. And also for the sake of time, I already put some things together just to kind of save some time and save me some, save me some time, save you some time, save us all some time. So there's already some stuff already assembled, but we're doing the bulk of the build here. But let's go. Let's start. Let's start putting stuff together. Let's do this. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. These are our first two pieces. Here we go. The, the merging of the first two pieces. Oh, oh, that was satisfying. That was satisfying right there. And we're doing this a couple more times. So how is everybody doing? I was, oh, we're going this way. See, I was already about to mess something up. See that? Look, step two, and I was already about to mess something up. Oh, man. So how's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? As always, hope everyone is doing well. Everyone's staying safe. What am I doing? I'm building me a Guntlot, an infinity Guntlot. I have my infinity ring on as well because, you know, you just have to. You just have to. You have to. But yeah, this is this is going to be kind of extensive. I think it's like 500, like almost 600 pieces. So, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a little bit. It's going to be a little bit of work here. But you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And we're going to do it well. What am I doing here? I don't know what I'm doing here. All right. Okay. Okay. So how's everybody in the chat? What's going on in the chat? Optimus1253, love your videos. Thank you. My videos love you. My videos love you. Unknown guy, I remember watching your videos when I was six. How old, well, how old are you now? So I can get a time reference here. Can I, so I can get a time frame here. Uh Oh, what's going on? This is a small build. Try a thousand piece one of the, I've actually, I've built some, this is just, this is, I consider this a lengthy build as far as like an actual, for something to record. Um, this is a lengthy build. No, I've, I've built like, I built, um, I, a long time, I didn't do it on camera, but a long time ago, I built the, uh, the Lego, um, Arkham Asylum and that thing was like, I forget that was, that was a big set. So no, I'm not a stranger to big sets. I'm just saying like, as far as recording goes, like 600 pieces is a lot, but it's not the biggest set I've ever built. I've done plenty of big sets. This is not, uh, I am no stranger to the, to the larger sets. So don't poof to me. I poof to you because you don't know what I've done. You don't know where I've been. You don't know my story. All you know is what I let you know. Anywho. <laughs> All right. What are we doing here? We're doing this. We're doing things. We're doing stuff. That's what we're doing. 
And hopefully we haven't messed everything up yet. All right, what are we doing? Oh, this is going to be even more. Oh God, as, as if, as if making videos isn't enough. If, isn't enough of an exercise? And how many ways can you distract yourself while you're trying to achieve a task? Add a live chat into it. This is going to be a whole new level of distraction. Oh my lord. This is going to be a whole nother level <laughs> of distraction here, but we're going to try to get through it. We're going to try to get through it. All right. So we're bringing in all these pieces. And hopefully we're not going to mess all this up because that would be detrimental, especially since I can't, you know, I can't just edit this out. I mean, I can. I mean, you can edit live streams after the fact, but you can. All you can do is just kind of cut stuff out. You can't do any kind of elaborate editing. It's just kind of cutting, cutting out a chunk of video, which I did do in the last one, the little Bumblebee live stream I did um, last week. I did actually cut out a couple chunks because it was a little too long, <laughs> and you know, I cut out the chunk with me having to answer, get up to answer the door, and I cut out the chunk with you know, it, it was just me standing there reading the chat. I was like, yeah, people don't need to see all this. <laughs> Let's try to make this a little bit more streamlined here for people. Okay. But we're going places. We're doing things. We're going places and we're doing things. That's what we're doing. Uh, mascot will try to send MGO to a different universe when he sleeps. Oh, God, I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. Hey, I pay, I pay him well enough, okay? I pay him well enough that he should not try to do that. He should not, you know. Don't bite the hand to feed you. You know what I mean? Don't bite the hand to feed you. And I am the hand that feeds him. <laughs> because of me, he gets all the fish heads he wants. And he's happy. And he's a happy boy because of it. You know what I mean? Is Mascot your moderator? I don't think so. I don't think he can handle the responsibility, honestly. You know, no offense to mascot, love him to death, love him dearly. He's my, you know, he's my partner. He's been my sidekick since day one, but I don't, I don't, I don't trust him with that kind of responsibility. You know, it's just, you know, it's, uh, uh, you, know you, you have to know him personally. You have to know him personally to know what I'm talking about. But, you know, I mean, it's all good, but I love him. I love him to death. Love him dearly. Love him dearly. As far as this channel goes, he's my best friend. He's my best bud. Been together since day one and he'll be here. To the day this channel dies, which may be sooner rather than later, but hey. <laughs> so right now, as you can see, we're building the base here. Got some good base going on here. Oops. Of course, I'm trying not to mess everything up, although I'm sure I will. Let's come up a little bit so you can see what's happening. I'm sure you'd like to actually see what's happening. Ah, uh, Robots World. How old is Mascot? 137 years old. He's 137 years old. You didn't know that? I thought that was common knowledge. I guess not, because I never said it out loud. But, eh, yeah, he's, he's, you know, he's up there. He's up there. He's up there. Okay. So I got that going. I have to keep raising up. Come on, rise up. Come on, rise up. We have to rise. Oh, man. What is going on? Give Mascot the Infinity Gauntlet. Again, no, I don't trust him with that kind of power. Again, he's just, no. That's too much power for him to have. We can't do that. We can't do that. He won't make half of us disappear. He'll make us all disappear. That's just, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Ain't that much. Ain't, ain't that much trust in the world. Ain't that much trust in the world. Sorry to tell you. Ain't that much trust in the world. Okay, so what are we doing? <laughs> uh, would you ever give Mascot a brother? He he did. Actually, if you've been if you followed the channel since the beginning, at one point he actually did have like a little, he had a little partner. But um he got he got written out of the show. <laughs> But at one point, the sidekick had a sidekick. Mascot did have his own little partner, but he got he got written off the show. He just, you know what? He just he was making too many demands, and he just got to the point where he was just holding out for more money. And it was just like, you know what? You know, you, you just don't need to be here anymore. You know. And I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. You know, I, I WWE'd him basically. I just wished him all the best in his future endeavors, and released him. And you know, he's happy now. He's happy. He's he's doing his own thing. 
But yeah, one point mascot actually did have a little partner. If you go way, you got to go way back, like way back in the channel's history to see that. But yeah, they used to do the intros together. This, this was before mascot talked, by the way. This was before mascot uh, got brave and, and started speaking. This was during his mute days when he was talking via annotations, which now that YouTube has disabled annotations, you can't even see that anymore. So now in those old intros where I'm talking to mascot, he actually is responding to me, but you can't see it anymore because YouTube disabled annotations. So that, so now all that lovely comedy has been lost. All that lovely magical annotation comedy has been lost, but oh, it is what it is. Uh, Jonathan Harris, is there any figure you regret reviewing? Oh, man. I don't regret reviewing anything. Regret is a strong word. There, I mean, like, there's nothing I've ever regretted reviewing. It's just things that have been more a pain in the butt than others, which makes it kind of a chore to review. Like, you know, like Devil Savior Split, like that was a review I legit was not looking forward to doing, especially after the experience that I had with it, the initial experience I had with it. I was like, I'm not looking forward to doing this video. So sometimes when it comes to, depending on how much pain in the butt the figure is, like the review becomes more of a chore. But I don't regret doing it because at the end of the day, you know, I'm still, I'm still going to find a way to have fun with it. And I'm still going to, you know, find a way to... Make it entertaining for you guys because that's the most important thing is that you guys are entertained and you guys are having fun. And, I, and, and again, I'll try to make it fun for myself because I'll sit there and like, you know, make fun of it or whatever. <laughs> so um, I'll always find a way to make the process enjoyable enough, even for a figure I'm not looking forward to reviewing. So, you know, hope that answers your question in some efficient way, which it probably didn't. But short answer, no. <laughs> There's no figure I've regretted reviewing. Uh, okay. So what are we doing here? So we're doing this. We got clips. Clippity clip. Clippity clip. Clippity 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 clip. Hey, look at these. They're clippity clips. Alrighty. Is Sunstreaker okay? Sunstreaker's fine. Sunstreaker is fine. He can handle it. He can take it. He's all right. He's a tough bot. He is a tough bot. You guys very much underestimate how tough Sunstreaker is. He is not he is not a fragile bot. He is tough. He is made of the sterner stuff that Optimus Prime spoke of in the movie. He is made of that sterner stuff. So he's good. He's fine. He can take he can take he takes it like a trooper. He takes it like a trooper and says, "Please suck and I have some more." That's what he does. That's what Sunstreaker does. Cuz when challenge challenges him, you know what he does? He challenges challenge. That's what he does. That's Sunstreaker. That's the Sunstreaker way. So it's all good. It's all good. So apparently this thing is going to be pretty big too. I think this thing is like, how tall is this thing going to be? There is measurements on this. 12.5 uh, inches tall. So this is going to be a big freaking gauntlet. A big gauntlet. Oh, Lord. We're already getting tall. Look at this. We're growing. We're already growing. We have a base and this this. <laughs> but we have ourselves a Guntlot. We're going to have ourselves a Guntlot by the time it's all done. All right. What are we doing here? A lot of more things. That's what we're doing. A lot of more things. A lot of more things that involve the stuff. Again, making sure I'm doing all this on camera here. Where is my viewfinder? There we go. Help if I move my viewfinder up so I can actually see what I'm doing. Although I can just look at my laptop right next to me and I can see what I'm doing on the screen. But either way, visuals are important when it comes to a visual medium. So, you know, this is what we do. This is our journey. This is our journey, peoples. This is our journey. Come. Come with me. Come with me on this journey. We're going to be in this together. We're going to be in this together. All right. What are we doing? I don't know. I never know. <laughs> do you know? <laughs> I have no idea. Tell me in the chat if I know what I'm doing. If your answer is yes, you're you're wrong. I'm going to tell you right now you're wrong. Anyway. And I'm sure I probably already messed up like 10 steps because I am distracted by like 100 things right now. I have a chat. I have 
things to look at, other things to look at. I have instruction, I have instrucciones to look at. This is just a whole new level of distraction. Who thought this was a good idea? Who? Who thought this was a good idea? Doing a build and a live stream? Who thought this was a good idea? Whoever thought this was a good idea? Not me. But I'm doing it. I have no idea why. <laughs> All right. We got this chunk of stuff going on here. That's what we just built. And where is that going? That's going higher up. We are doing more. Right, We're rising. We're doing more rising. Look at this. Look at this. We're, just, we're building a pillar here. It's a pillar. We have a pillar here. A pillar of Guntlots. Okay. All righty. Next. What are we doing? Uh, more clips. More clips. As if we don't have enough clips, we're doing more clips. All righty. What's going on here? What is going on? I'm sorry if I'm not paying... In an incredibly insane amount of attention to the chat, but you know, I'm kind of in the middle of something. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep my, my attention on the task at hand as well as trying to glance over at the chat every now and then. So if I'm not acknowledging you, please do not take it personally. It's just, you know, I'm, do, I'm, I'm doing a lot here. I'm doing a lot. I'm doing, I'm multitasking here. I'm doing a lot of multitasking, but, um, you know, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Nonetheless, I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. What are we doing here? What are we doing? What is this? What, what, what is this? Did I already miss something? Did I already miss something? Am I missing a piece? Oh, here it is right here. It just slid, it just slid under the, under the instrucciones. I was getting ready to say, like, I thought I sorted everything properly. Okay, we're doing this. What's going on? I'm a bit upset that the Demon's Driver is Premium Bandai. Well, I mean, that's what Premium Bandai does. <laughs> you always got to make something an exclusive. It is what it is. Did I pre-order the Demon Driver? I think I did. I think I pre-ordered it on BBTS. Which means I'll review it like three months after it comes out because BBTS is slow with getting an imported stuff. But, you yeah, know, hey, at least it will... Uh, It'll get done. So where is this going? There are arrows, but it's not super clear. <laughs> I'm guessing it's just going right here like that. I'm going to take a wild guess that that's where that's going. It looks like it. Hey, don't you fall apart on me. Don't you fall apart on me, Guntlats. Did I do that right? Those clips? Did I do those clips right? I did those clips right. Okay. I got to double check my work now because I'm distracted because I got a live chat going and everything now. What's going Hey, Andrew77. Hey, I'm go. Hey, you. Hey, Andrew. How are you? What's this? If Hasbro, Lazarus King, if Hasbro approached you to create your very own Transformers figure from scratch, what kind of Transformer would you create? I would create a Transforming Back Scratcher. That's what I would do. A Transforming Back Scratcher. Call him Mega Scratch. That would be his name, Mega Scratch. He would transform into a back scratcher. And that's how he would rule the world. He would make you think, oh, look at this thing to give me relief from my itchy back. That he transforms and stabs you in the back. And that would be his, that's how he would take over the world. Just makes sense, doesn't it? Makes sense to me. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> Wait a second, what did I do? Oh, wait, I did something wrong. I just realized I did something wrong. This goes, this goes on the back. This goes on the back, not on the front. This goes on the back. See, I already messed up. See what you people are doing to me. But you're distracting. You're distracting me and you're making me mess up. This is all your fault. I blame you. I blame all of you. I should have noticed. Like, there's a red brick here. Oh, there's no red brick on this side. There we go. Okay. Okay. This is going back here. Did you guys catch that I made that mistake? It's okay. So that goes on the back. This one that I just made, this one goes on the front. This one goes here. There we go. Okay. Now we're back on track. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. David Martin. Hey, emotion. 
I'm assuming you were trying to write MGO and, and the autocorrect got, got you there. I've watched your channel for a long while. I love your reviews. Thank you very much. Emotion, emotion is very, you, you made emotion emotional about that. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> that dang autocorrect. You know how many times I've been called engine in the, in the comment section? I'm like autocorrect. <laughs> so I, every now and then I get a comment that says, hey, engine. I'm like, engine? Eh, autocorrect. That autocorrect got him. It's okay. It happens. It happens to the best of us. That autocorrect sometimes can just be, can just be a, a, a blessing and a curse. Uh -huh. Are you excited for Spider-Man No Way Home? Dr. S. Prime asked. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks good. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like it's going to be, uh, that movie looks like it's going to be crazy. We're going to get like old characters from like the other, from like the previous Spider-Man movies and stuff. That looks like it's going to be crazy. Oh uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to that. Looking forward to seeing what kind of insanity ensues in that movie. Yeah, that, that, that looks like it's going to be cool. All right, where are we? Where are we? So we are, make sure I'm on the right side here. Yes, I am. Okay, let's go there. Okay. I always have to be mindful of my sides. What are we doing here? We are stacking these. We're just doing a lot of stacking right now. On this here pillar. The pillar! The pillars! Looks like Sentinel Prime's pillars. The pillars! All right, we are here. We are here. So what we're we doing? We are adding. We're just growing. This is growing. You know what? I didn't realize this was going to be as tall as it is. We're just growing. We're growing and growing. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> All right. So we've done that step. We're moving along. We're moving along at a decent pace, I think. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh my God. Um, Lewis Winter, what do you think of the actors reprising, reprising some of their roles from the previous Spider-Man movies? Yeah, again, yeah, again, that's, that's going to be cool, man. I can't wait. I'm, I am very much looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Also looking forward to Ghostbusters Afterlife. That movie looks like it's going to be good. Like I'm really looking forward to it. I saw the, uh, the, the, the final trailer the other day and I was like, Oh no, it's happening. You know, with that very last, with that very last shot that they show, you know, the last teaser shot they show. I'm like, Oh man, that got me hype. That got me hype. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to that. So we're doing this four times. Boop. Uh hey, go. did you know they had a Star Wars ah uh, as, as what who who ah uh, Ahsoka Transformer figure? I don't even know who that is. So no, I didn't know he had a figure. <laughs> uh Dragon Ranger 84. Where does the 316 in your channel name come from? That was when I created my username, I, I mean, I still am a big wrestling fan, but I was a big Stone Cold Steve Austin fan, and he was all about Austin 316, so when I did, when I created my username, I was like, I'm going 316 because Stone Cold, ah, I'm cool, and it just, it just stayed. I've actually, believe it or not, I've been wanting to kind of do away with the 316, but you know what? It's just, you know, people recognize it now, so I feel like it would be kind of weird if I just, like, got rid of it out of nowhere. Because you guys already have shown that you don't do well with change. <laughs> so if all of a sudden the 316 was gone from my username, you guys would probably lose your minds. So I was like, you know what? We'll keep that. We'll just keep that. We'll keep the 316. But honestly, I would rather just go by MGO, right? Just the channel name just be MGO. But we'll keep the 316 because it's what people know. It's what they're familiar with. So we'll leave it. We'll leave it as is. 
Who's, uh, oh, uh, ah- Ahsoka Tano was Anakin Skywalker's apprentice during the Clone Wars series. I did not watch the Clone Wars series. I have not seen that. I've not seen a single bit of that. So, yeah, that's why I don't know who he is. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm not a big star. I mean, I like, I like Star Wars. I'm not a huge Star Wars aficionado. Like, I don't watch everything Star Wars. I'm not that big into Star Wars. Sorry. But, um, okay, cool. Well, at least now I know who, who the character is. So, yeah. So, that goes there. That goes there. Boom, whoops, and that goes there. <laughs> Not there, there. There we go. Emgo, what do you think of Kamen Rider Matsubo Jinrei or Kamen Rider Zaya? Uh, cool. They're cool. Hey, I can work with it. I can work with all of it. Matsubo Jinrei.net. You got to love that Matsubo Jinrei.net. Okay, so this is going. I have everything facing the right way, right? Yes. Okay. So now I'm turning it around. Now we're working on the back. That this, this stuff is going back here. Okay. Cool. I know what I'm doing. I believe I know what I'm doing. I believe in my heart of hearts that I maybe know what I'm doing. Okay. So this is going where? Well. This is going. Did I do this right? I did this right. <laughs> I'm just, I'm second guessing everything right now. So this looks like it's going right. Question mark? Oh, this goes like, like that. Okay. Ah, okay. That goes like that. Okay. And then that goes there. And this one looks like it goes here. Boom. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. All right. We've done that. We're moving along. We're moving along steadily. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. And the higher up I put the camera, the less I can see the instructions in front of me. Here we go. <laughs> I'm having to like lean over to see the instructions now, the higher I put the camera up. But it's okay. We'll get through it. It's all right. The back pain will be worth it. The back pain will be totally worth it. Where are we? Okay. We are living here now. So that looks like it's going right above the clips. Right there. Okay. So what are we doing here? We're doing this. We got some ball joints. Some ball joints. That would be going here. I'm here. Get in there. Get in there, you. There we go. Look at that. It's like a little doll. <laughs> oh. What's worse, parts forming or six changers? Neither, really. I don't have a problem with either of them. I have no problem whatsoever with parts for par, par, parth, parth forming. What happened there? I have no problem whatsoever with parts forming. That's something that does not bother me in any way, shape, or form. I know it enrages some people. I don't care one bit. I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I don't care how you get from point A to point B just as long as you get there and you make the process enjoyable. That's all that matters to me. I don't live by these made-up rules that the people who created these things have never followed since day one. That's one of the that's one of the weird things about this fandom. Truth be told, is that you guys will make up rules for these things that the people who have created these things never followed, and then you will get mad because they didn't follow your made-up rules. On what planet that makes sense, I don't know. But hey, it's the way it works. It's the way it works, <laughs> and it's just been that way probably forever. It still makes no sense, but hey, you do you. You feel how you feel, but you know what? <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Everybody has their tastes. Everyone has their preferences. As far as parts forming goes, it has never bothered me. I grew up in the era of parts forming because G1 was like majority parts forming. So I, that's probably why I don't care about it because I grew up with it. So it doesn't bother me now, but hey, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. You like what you like. Where are we? Where are we living here? We are living up here. This is a weird structure we're, we're building here. What's going on here? Uh, 
Oh, what is this? J Master 99. I don't know if you have answered this, but did you get Hazlab Victory Saber or no? Yes, I did. I did back Victory Saber. I ended up backing him. I I backed that thing, I think, like two days before the campaign was over. I was just like, all right, I'll do it. Um actually I talked about this when I did the very first live stream. Um, but yeah, I I I don't care about Star Saber. I genuinely don't care about Star Saber. Um, the only reason that I went in on the on the on the campaign was I, I bought it more so just for the collectability of it. I you know my collector mind just kind of kicked in. I was just like, you know what? It's kind of a limited run thing. Probably be valuable. It'd be something to, just cool to say. Hey, I have this in my collection. You know, so I bought it more as a collector, more from the collector aspect of it, more so than I really want this. You know. But hey, you know, we'll have it. I mean, I, I got rid of my Masterpiece Star Saber. So unfortunately, when that review happens, you're not going to see Masterpiece Star Saber for the comparison because I actually ended up selling my Masterpiece Star Saber. So he gone. He gone. We ain't going to see him in that review. Sorry to say. Where are we going with this exactly? Where are we going? I don't know. We're just making some weird thing here. We're building a lot of weird things to make this Guntlots. Where does this go? This is going here. But I know all this has a reason. All this has a purpose. And that's the crazy thing about these Lego designers is um, they come up with the, with some genius ways to create things. And hey, I, I they have my, my utmost respect. Okay, so how's this going? This is going here. Yes. So, okay. Look at this. We have like a weird tree going on here. What's happening? What is happening here? Okay, so that was the end of bag one. So now we're going on to bag two. <laughs> I'm going to come down here because we're going to build stuff down here now. All right. So here's where we are. And now we get some gold pieces. Look at this. We got gold. I love gold. Because that Guntlot has the gold. It's the gold Guntlot. Okay. Uh, what is this? Kala, Kala Nul. Um, I have the Lego ideas Voltron and they will magic shapes into existence. You didn't know they can make, I'm sure. I, you know what? I kind of regret I didn't get the Lego Voltron. I'm sure it's probably stupid expensive now because I'm sure it's sold out at this point. Uh, so I'm sure the only place you could probably find those like on eBay now. It's probably like $5 million now if you want to get it. But I do kind of regret I didn't get that. All right. We got more gold. More gold. Uh, do you plan on enabling super chats in future live streams? No. No, I'm not doing super chats. I'm not doing, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't want money. <laughs> I'm not doing this for money. I don't do it. You know, like I, I, when it comes to YouTube, I like to just, I like to earn my money the old fashioned way. Like I'll, I'll take, I'll take Google for every cent they have. I don't care. Cause that's their job to pay me. But you know, like I, I don't want money from you guys. That's just something I just, I'm sorry. I feel, I just feel weird. I feel scummy. Just, you know, I don't want your money. I don't need your money. I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the sentiment. And I know that, you know, the viewers can be insanely generous and that's not a bad thing. That is an awesome thing. And I wish more people in the world were like that. Um, but then no, I don't, I don't, I don't need any donations. I don't need donations. I ain't doing this to get money out of you guys. I'll take, like I said, I'll take Google for every cent they got. Like, oh, that's fine. I'll, I'll take their money. No problem. But I don't want your money. <laughs> that's not the kind of relationship I want with you guys. You know what I mean? That's not the kind of relationship I want with you guys. Okay. So where are we? Where are we living? Uh, we are here. But I, uh, one thing I am probably going to do is I probably am going to open up channel memberships. And that is something you have to pay for. But I have a way where I'm going. I The way I'm going to do this will feel good to me, will feel right for me. 
because again, I don't want to ask you guys for money. I don't want your money. But when I open up channel memberships, the way I'm going to do it is I'm only going to do one tier. I'm only going to do one tier. It's going to be 99 cents. And the money I make from the channel memberships, I will donate to the American Cancer Society. That's the way I'm going to do channel memberships because that will feel good to me. That will feel right to me. And it will be just a win-win-win situation as far as I'm concerned because, number one, you guys can be channel members if that's something you've wanted to do, which even though no, nobody's ever um, expressed any desire to do that. But, hey, if it's something you wanted to do, you'll be able to do it. You'll be able to be a channel member. It'll also help the channel because apparently it will uprank the channel to have channel memberships on. So it will help the channel in the eyes of the almighty algorithm. And also we get to donate to a very good cause. So win, win, win. So I feel like that will be the best way to do channel memberships. You know. So it's not, so it's not about me. You know what I mean? Like the channel memberships won't be about me. It'll be just about you guys becoming channel members. And also we'll be helping a very good cause in the process. Like none of that money will be going to me. And that's the way I want it. I don't want the money going to me. Uh, Cause again, I don't want your money. I don't need your money. I'd rather take that money and give it to a good cause. Not my bank account, <laughs> even though my bank account is a very good cause as well, because, you know, hey, I can buy stuff and things and live. But you know what? That's not a problem. I, I don't have. I'm not broke. I'm not broke. I live I live comfortably, so I ain't hurting for money. So I don't. And hence why I've never started a Patreon or any of that stuff, because it's like, me, nah, don't want to don't want to. And, 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 you know, I mean, and granted, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk crap on any channel that does the Patreon thing or any of that. Hey, it's your channel. It's your business. You run it however you please. At the end of the day, it's none of my business what you do. I'm just talking about me personally, my feelings, just my personal philosophy and ideals. You know, it's just, I don't, I don't feel right asking you guys for money. That's just, that's just me. It's just me, but you know. I, I'm not talking bad about anybody who does it. Do you want to do that? Cool. More power to you. God bless you. But it's just not something I want to do. It just, it just don't sit right with me. <laughs> I know you guys would love to, I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you guys would happily donate money, but you know, like, uh, like I said, you know, it's, it's, you guys can be insanely generous. I've seen, I've seen YouTubers get gifted like gaming systems and stuff. I'm like, Oh my God, you know, but I mean, if anybody wants to send me a PS five, I mean, I, I won't say no <laughs> because Lord knows I can't find one anywhere. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I'll find a PS five eventually. There's no place wants to get them in stock. And I'm not paying scalper prices. I sure as heck am not paying scalper prices for one. No way. They can go somewhere with their scalper prices. Those scalpers can go somewhere with that. I definitely ain't paying scalper prices for one. I don't need it that bad. Because right now, honestly, there aren't really that many games out for it that I really am like jonesing to play anyway. So it's like, hey, by the time I get one, there'll be a better library. So, you know... The weight is probably a good thing. Uh, the Mr. Tall Geek Guy. I saw a PS5 once at my Target. <laughs> That's pretty much the story. Like, I saw one once <laughs> a long time ago. I saw one. Never saw one again. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I know, I've never even seen one. I have not seen a single PS5 in the wild. And every, it's funny because every time I go to GameStop, like I don't even go to GameStop looking for a PS5. Like I'll go to GameStop just to look at the toys and the collectibles they have. So I'm not even going there looking for a PS5. And every time I'm in a GameStop, somebody walks in and goes, you guys got any PS5s? And they always, do, they always say the same thing. No, and we don't know when we're getting more. It's always the same answer right here. Like they don't even know when they're getting them in. 
So it's like, oh, dear God, this has just become a debacle getting that system. Oh, well, it is what it is. I ain't going to cry about it. I ain't going to cry about it. It's okay. I hope I've done everything right this whole time I was talking. I've been, I have been legit just doing this mindlessly while I've been talking, and I hope I've been doing this properly. I probably messed everything up in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> uh, okay, this is going on this clip here. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Look at that shiny. Look at all that gold. I love gold. Ah, uh, who are you? Momori5000. Hi, go. Hi. Hi. Hi to you too. Hi to you too. Hello to you as well. Hello to all of you. Hello to all of you. Okay, so where is, where is all this getting clipped onto? This is all going... Are we on the right side here? Yes. This is all going here. Okay. Here! Clip, clip. There we go. We got gold. So for the sake of time, um, the back side is pretty much the same. So I already, I already put that together. So let me just fast forward ahead in the instructions here. Let me make sure I'm just clipping it into the right place. Even though there's only one place for it to be clipped, but I just want to be sure. Okay. So this is what we already did. There we go. This will save us some time. There we go. There's the, there's the front. There's the back. There we go. <laughs> Just for the sake of time, I already got some stuff built. I built some of these parts last night. You can donate to Team Seas to help clean the ocean. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, it's. I mean, initially, uh, uh, initially, I want to donate to the American Cancer Society just because you know I've 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 lost loved ones to cancer, um, unfortunately, and I'm sure a lot of people have. I'm sure some of you have. I'm sure some, maybe some of you have actually had to deal with cancer yourselves. I mean. You know, it's it's just, it's a horrible thing. And, you know, like, like I said, I've lost loved ones to cancer. So initially I do want to donate to the American Cancer Society. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, I'm I'm totally open to donating to, to, to other charities as well, whatever. I mean, hey, we can do that also. There is no, no issue with that at all. Either way, we'll be doing good. As long as you're doing good, it's all that matters. So all that matters. So, hey, if we're donating to a charity, we're doing a good thing. Doesn't matter what charity it is. But just yeah, but initially, I do want to donate to the American Cancer Society. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm totally open to donating to any other charities. Totally, totally. Oh, my great grandma went through cancer. She's still around, thankfully. Oh, good, good. That's good to hear. Awesome. I'm glad she's okay. I'm glad she, I'm glad she got through it. Unfortunately, not everybody does. That's a sad fact, but yeah. All right. Where are we going? Oh, where are we going? No, I'm skipping things. Where am I doing? Okay. I'm here. I'm still here. It's so going here. Boom. And here. Oop. Hey, we're going out of focus here. Don't go out of focus. Don't you go out of focus. The, the Guntlot, the Guntlot is already exercising its powers. It's making the camera go fuzzy. It's that powerful. The Guntlot is that powerful. It's the almighty Guntlot. Okay. What gesture, what hand gesture are you going to leave the gauntlet in once it's displayed? I might leave it in the, in the snapping pose because you can't totally make it snap. You can see it in the box here. It's on the thumbnail too, but you can kind of you can see. You can't totally put it in the snapping pose. I might put it in the snapping pose. I'm not gonna have him flipping the bird. No, I'm not gonna do that. I know somebody's already thinking, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm so clever. No, no. That is the most cliche thing ever. No. <laughs> no. Not doing that. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. What am I doing? Oh, we still need to put these things on. Putting these on, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, uh, what Kamen Rider drivers do you still keep? I mean, I, I've kept the majority of my drivers. I sold some of them off just because I didn't have the space for them. So I've, I, I ended up selling quite a bit of them. There's still a couple more that I want to sell off. 
um, because I don't have the space. Like right now, all my right now all my zero one drivers are just on a pile on the floor, like because I have nowhere to put them. So I have to clear up some space for them. And I think I messed something up, or did I? Where are we? Where are we living with this? I feel like this is in the right spots, right? 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 Oh, I put these clips in. These clips are in the wrong spot. That's why these are supposed to be upside down like this. That's why I was like, "Why are the clips not lining up?" Because you put these in upside down. You big dum dum upside down. There you go upside down it's not upside down anymore there you go there you go not upside down there we go okay sometimes you have to sing sometimes you have to sing songs okay so again we're doing pretty much the same thing on the other side so i already i already put that together there we go <laughs> so again we are just going to fast forward and again i did the same thing where i didn't put these clips in the right way okay we're off to a great start. <laughs> well, this isn't the start, actually. We're, we're pretty far along at this point. There we go. There we go. Now everything lines up the way it's supposed to. There we go. Now always right with the world. Okay. We're getting some beef. We're getting some beef to our Guntlots. Oh, yes. There we go. So now what are we doing? So that was the end of... Oh, that's not the end of bag two. We're still on bag two. Sorry. I, I, I prematurely, I ended prematurely with bag two. Don't you hate when that happens? Okay. So what do we have? Be careful not to sing any real songs. Oh, yeah. No, I know. Trust me. I know. I know not to sing any real songs. Every now and then, people are like, why don't you use like Transformers music for, for your background music? I'm like, what, do you want me to get sued? What, what's, what's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> you want my? You want me to get banned? Like, what do you? What do you know? I have no idea how people like. There are people who use like copyrighted music in their channels, and I have no idea how they do it. All I know is the last time I tried to use any kind of slightly copyrighted music, the video was muted literally the second it went live. Literally the second it went live, YouTube muted the video. And I was just like, okay, and I just, I just don't do it anymore. I just use whatever copyright royalty free music that youtube has you know in their cre in the creator studio that's the that's the music i use in my videos now i just play it safe i'm like you know what i'll just use their music from their library and i know i can't get in trouble so i just play it safe okay look at that oh look at that that's fancy that's a fancy thing we made there look at that I do copyright music and my channel isn't blocked. Yay. Well, not, not yet. Anyway, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Wait, sometimes it takes a little while for YouTube to catch up with you, but yeah, now sometimes it's, uh, you, just, you might just be lucky right now, but luck runs out, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All I know is anytime I try to do it, YouTube's like, what do you think you're doing? And I'm like, I just, I just wanted to use a little, a little muzak. They're like, you're not allowed to use the muzak. You need express, ex express consent from, 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 from the musician, and the record label, and, and everybody. You need a notarized note from a lawyer, a butcher, a baker, and a candlestick maker. They had nothing to do with the song, but you need that, you need that paperwork. That's what I get. Whenever I try to use copyrighted music. Anyway. Oh, uh, Ahil Giovanni. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Hi, Emgo. I am your hugest fan. And to be honest, you are my, you are my, one of my top three YouTube idols. I also wanted to ask, what can, what can you use? Because I plan on doing Transformer reviews like you. Also, when will you post again? Well, I'm posting right now. So that would be, no, I post, <laughs> I'm posting right now when I will post again, probably tomorrow. There'll be a Kamen Rider review going up tomorrow if you watch those. Because um, the weekends are for Kamen Rider. Saturdays are for Kamen Rider. So if you watch those videos, that will be up tomorrow. 
Okay, so now we're officially done back to you. Uh, what kind of camera do I use? Um, right now I can't see because the thing is, the viewfinder is open and I can't, it's it's a Sony Handycam. It's what I'm using right now. It's a Sony Handycam HDR something, 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 letters and numbers. I'm so sorry. I can't give you the exact thing right now because I can't, I can't, uh, can I read it upside down? Sony Handycam CX something, something. I can't read the numbers upside down. <laughs> That's what I'm using right now. It's a Sony Handycam. I am going to eventually upgrade to uh, a 4K camera again, to uh, more so out of necessity than desire. It's to appease the almighty algorithm because apparently from what I have heard starting next year, YouTube is going to start prioritizing 4K channels so if your channel's not in 4K, if you're not doing videos in 4K, they're going to they're going to downrank your channel. So I'm going to have to go 4K. Um, and 4K cameras are freaking expensive, but hey, I spend a lot of money as it is on this stuff. So hey, what's another thousand dollars? <laughs> so yeah. So we are going to be making the move to 4K probably before the year is up, because. I have to also buy new software because my software doesn't render in 4K. My software only renders up to 1080. So I also have to buy new software that will render in 4K. So that'll be more money. <clears throat> Excuse me as I lose my voice a little bit. So I'm going to need some time to, you know, learn, learn the new camera, learn the new software. And uh, yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a transition. It'll be a transitional period. But we'll go to 4K at some point. We'll go to 4K. That, da that darned algorithm. Yeah, that darn. Yeah, it's, oh god, I've. It's gotten to the point where I'm getting. I, the word algorithm has lost all meaning to me. Like that's all YouTubers talk about anymore is the algorithm, the algorithm, the algorithm. But it's unfortunately, it's it's become the governing body of this site, and it's infuriating and frustrating and kind of it's it's the one thing that makes do, doing this not fun anymore because we have to do so much crap just to appease the algorithm because now youtube has this freaking I, I, I shouldn't get started on this because i'll start cursing <laughs> we're trying to keep this family friendly uh but um you know it's just it's just frustrating it's just gotten insanely frustrating lately because now youtube is basically now youtube is deciding what you see pretty much youtube is deciding what you what what videos you see and what you don't you know what i mean like they're deciding for you what you're gonna see and that's not cool that's not fair that should not be the case and apparently even their notification system is broken like much other things on this site are broken um because apparently i've gotten quite a few comments from people saying Hey, I'm go. I have the I have the notification bell turned on, and I'm still not getting notified when you upload videos. So they make you go through this rigmarole of oh, being just being subscribed isn't enough to get you notified of videos. Ring the bell. Oh wait, now you're ringing the bell, but we're still not notifying you. Okay, this site isn't broken. This site isn't broken at all. I mean, it's just it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. <laughs> don't get me wrong like i love doing this I, I love making videos i love creating content for you guys like i have so much fun doing this but the way youtube is working now like it it makes it not fun that's the part of it that's not fun it is just legit frustrating and just and and just discouraging Like at this point, if somebody asked me, hey, I want to be a YouTuber, what do I do? I'd be like, you know what? Find something else to do. <laughs> or just do this as a hobby. If you want to do this as a hobby, cool. If you just want to upload a video every now and then just for the fun of it, cool. Go ahead and knock yourself out. But at this point now, if you want to try to make this a career, find something else to do. Because you have to deal with too much crap now to, to even get the algorithm to go, hey, you want to watch this guy? You have to jump through too many hoops at this point. And it's just, yeah, yeah. Anyway, my ranting aside, let's talk about happy things. Let's talk about happy things. 
<laughs> I mean, truth be told, if there were greener pastures somewhere else, I would probably never upload to this site again. I'm being totally honest. Because this site has just become too much. Too much, too much to deal with. Too much BS to deal with, but it is what it is. But they're really the only game in town, so they don't have any competition. So that's why they can do pretty much whatever they want to us and not care. But anyway, let me shut up. <laughs> My channel is going to get banned tonight because of everything I'm saying now. Let me stop. Let me shut up. I love YouTube. YouTube is the best site ever. Love them to death. No, look, I'm great. Look, at, at the end of the day, I'm grateful. I'm I'm grateful to this to this platform. I'm grateful for this platform because I would not be where I am today if it was not for this platform. So I and I fully acknowledge that. So you know, I don't want to make it sound like I'm being ungrateful or anything. I'm not. It's just it's just become so micromanaged now that it's kind of sucking the fun out of it. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We got to deal with it. Is the Gauntlet blush? The Gauntlet is not blush compatible. What are you talking about? Why would the Gauntlet be blush compatible? Okay, what are we doing? We're making like knuckles here. We made a knuckle sandwich. Did I put this together right in any way, shape, or form? I did. Okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> ah. Who is this? Halo Hunter. Story Story Fire was looking like it was going to be the YouTube killer, but that flopped now. Anything that's tried to be anything that's tried to be competition for YouTube has flopped. Nothing, nothing is going to be as big as YouTube. I'll tell you that right now. Nothing is going to be as big as YouTube. YouTube is ingrained in our culture now. Like YouTube is just ingrained in our society. YouTube is an automatic answer to a question now. That's what YouTube has become. If you have a question about anything, what are your two automatic answers? Google it, look it up on YouTube. And Google owns YouTube. Isn't that funny? So it's just, <laughs> it's just, it's ingrained in us now. YouTube is just ingrained in us. It, th when you buy any device, it has YouTube already preloaded into it. If you buy a couch, it already has YouTube preloaded into it. It's just, it is just ingrained in our society now. So nothing's ever going to be as big as that. Something catastrophic would have to happen for YouTube to really have any actual competition. All righty. So what are we doing with these things? <laughs> what am I doing here exactly? What's going on? Where are these pieces going? Okay. These pieces I just built go right under here. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. How long have we been going? We've been going for almost an hour now. Wow. Wasn't expecting to be going this long. But again, I am being very much distracted by everything. This is a long build too. So obviously it's going to be a little lengthier. I'm sure somebody's like, I can build this in 15 seconds. Good for you. Good for you. You're not multitasking though. I'm sitting here reading a chat, making sure everything's in frame. I haven't just to readjust the camera. If I was just doing this on my own time, I'd probably get it done a lot quicker. But again, when you're doing it like this, it's just an effort in how many ways can you distract yourself and still get your task done. And it's going to slow you down. That's, that's just the way of it. It's going to slow you down. But hey, we're having fun. We're talking. We're conversing. We're conversing. All right, so what are we doing here? What is this? So that's going like that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Uh, What's this? Nestor, Perrins. Funny how PR started in 2006 and has 140,000 subscribers and MGO started in 2009 and has 496,000 subscribers. I love PR. I love PR, by the way. I like, I love PR. He's actually one of the guys who inspired me to start doing this. So I have, I have nothing but the utmost respect 
for Pia. Um, I, I think he's one of the, uh, honestly, one of the few guys that, that are respectable still in this, in this business of YouTube toy reviewing. Um, but I love Pia. He's a good guy. As far as I'm concerned, anyway, he's a good guy. He's good peoples. What am I doing? What am I doing here? I feel like I'm missing something, but am I missing? Am I really? Where are we going? Okay. Okay. I haven't done this yet because I'm totally just not doing things I'm supposed to be doing. So this is going here. So that looks like it is lining up. Like that, it looks like. Right? I hope I'm doing this right. Okay. <laughs> It's just part of me. It just feels like I'm doing everything wrong right now. Okay. I think we did that. Okay. So we're there. And then we have this piece that we built just now. This is going back here. Okay. 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 Now things are looking the way it's supposed to look. Okay. I was genuinely confused there. Okay. How's this going? This is going like this right there like that. Okay. 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 There we go. All right was genuinely confused there for a second. That's just because I wasn't doing things I was supposed to be doing. Okay. There we go. Okay. We're all good now. We're all good. We're all good. And the pieces are getting further and further away from me. Oh, Lord. Okay. So what are we doing now? Going back down here. And we are putting together this thing. What is this thing right here? What is this? More bits and pieces. Uh Joe GR, I'll rewatch the stream later. I can't stay for too much longer. Hey, watch it whenever you want, brother. Watch it whenever you want. It's not going anywhere. Once we're done, you can watch it whenever you wish. That's the beauty of this. So it's okay. You got other things to do. Go do your other things. I won't take it personal. I'll just take it extremely personal. No, I'm kidding. How can you abandon me like that? How can you just abandon me? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I thought we I thought I thought we had something. I thought we were friends. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, anywho. <laughs> he called me brother. I call a lot of people brother. That's just my I'm like Hulk Hogan. I call everybody brother. What's up, brother? That's just my go-to. That's just my go-to term of endearment for people. I was calling brother. Hey brother. What's up, brother? I'm the Hulk Hogan of YouTube without all the controversial stuff. <laughs> oh, get over here. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So what are we doing here? Ba -ba -bum 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 -ba -bum. There we go. This is when we just make random noises with our mouth now. This is this is that. We're at that point now. We're at that point. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, Bro, you sound like my cousin. Okay, cool. Or not cool, actually. I'm sorry then. Actually, my 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 sympathies to your cousin. He should sound like he should sound like someone intelligent. <laughs> I'm sorry, he sounds like me. Your goal in life should be to sound like someone intelligent. That's not me. Get over here. Oh. Okay. What are we doing here? We have a big half moon. Uh, what are we doing? Well, so far the build has gone pretty smoothly. We only had like two hiccups just because I put a clip on the wrong way. Well, a couple of clips on the wrong way, but that's okay. So far, no major hiccups here. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to put this piece that I just built. I need to put this on here. I'm just totally, I'm just putting things together and then just not putting them where they're supposed to go. This is me. This is my life. This is our journey. This is our journey right here, people. This is our journey. Where is this going? This is going right here. Okay. There we go. That's going there. There we go. Okay. Now back to, okay. So we already put this part together. Where is this going? This is going right here. Boom. Boom. There we go. Okay. 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 Doing good. We're doing well. All right. 
moving along. We're moving along. Okay. Where are we now? Where are we now? Get over here. Okay. Okay, we are here now. We are here. We are adding to this. Um, ba -ba -bum, bum, bum, ba -ba -bum. Okay, that's going there. And then we get this, right? Yes. And then we get this. And this is the part where I keep saying this. There we go. Okay. Ah! Who told you you could do that? Who told you? Who told you these things? Piece is just falling off. How dare you? How da I feel betrayed now. I feel betrayed. How dare you? You stay. You stay because it's normal. Go back in your home. You go back in your home and you stay in your home. There we go. Hey. Hey. Hey, okay. Where are we? We got more gold. Oh, we got more gold. What are we doing with all this? We are putting a clip. A clip on this. Alrighty. So that is going. Okay, we're still on this side. Just making sure. So where is this? This is going over here boom and then this is going over here boom and that's going there like that correct yes and then this little pizza slice is going right there okay okay all righty we're doing things we're doing things and making 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 things I am watching you while doing my math homework. No, no, don't, no, no. You know math. Math definitely needs your undivided attention. What, 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 what? Do your math homework. Do your math homework. Watch this later. <laughs> your education is more important. Your education is way more important. You can watch this later. Keep your mind on your schooling. Keep your mind on your schooling. Okay. Get your education. Like Apollo Creed said, be a thinker, not a stinker. Yeah. <laughs> the wise words of Apollo Creed. All right, where are we? Where are we living? We are here. That's going there. We're just building the most random shapes now. Look at this. What's, ha what's happening here? What is happening here? And over here. Oh, man. The parts are just getting further and further away from me. We got two more rows to go. We only got two more rows. We're getting there. We are getting there. This is our journey. This is our journey. Uh, can we get a Thanos voice impression? I can't do a good Thanos voice impression. He just has a kind of a slow voice. It's balanced as all things should be. You know, like it's just, it's just, it's not good. It's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> get over here. I can do a great Scorpion impression. Get over here. All right. Uh, what's happened to the Titanic kit? On um, the Titanic kit, apparently, I thought I was supposed to start shipping this year. Um, I haven't looked it up myself, but somebody told me that's going to start shipping next year. So, yeah. I mean, I'm fine with that. I mean, hey, I'm not, I'm not in a rush because <laughs> I'm already doing two builds at the same time. So, hey, it's a little longer that I don't have to do three builds at the same time. So I'm, fi I'm fine with it. It's okay. I'm fine with it. You know what's happening now? My stomach is starting to growl because I've been doing this for a good while. And I didn't eat anything before I came down here. I should have. I should have. But now my stomach's doing the grumbly rumblies. So if you hear my stomach growl, 
just know that it's because it is angry. And my stomach is saying, feed me, Seymour, feed me. It's okay. We'll get something to eat. After we're done here. Patience, patience, my pet. All right. Where are we doing? Where are we, where are we living with this? This is going here. Yeah. You're just building the most odd thing right now. Don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but we're adding to it. We just keep adding to it. Anyway. Hey. Okay. And I drop things. What is this? Will the Lego Titanic float or sink? I, th I think somebody actually did that test already. I haven't. I think I've seen a video of somebody um, testing that out. If the Lego Titanic will float. I doubt it seriously because with as many bricks as in that thing, I'm sure that thing weighs a ton. I mean, this this itself is pretty, you know, has some weight to it. This will probably, if I put this in the water, it'll probably sink like a stone. So I doubt seriously the Titanic will, will float. The Lego Titanic anyway. The Eagle Moss model, who knows? Maybe they might make find a way to make that one buoyant in some way, but I doubt that either. That thing will probably sink like it, like it did, like the real one. I think it'll probably sink like the real one sank. Maybe not as dramatically, but he'll just go boop and just. <laughs> and yes, I did. I, I, I did end up um, getting the uh, Lego Titanic. I pre it was uh, like the pre-orders were already sold out, but they put up some back-ordered ones um, on Monday. They put up some for back order that won't get that won't ship until December. So I did, I did go in on the Lego Titanic. The thing is expensive, but that is the most expensive Lego set I have ever bought. But I was like, you know what? Let's do it. I, the, truth be told, truth be told, I don't know if I'll actually build it. I might end up just leaving it in the box. Just for, I, 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 I feel like that's one of those kits that I, I bought more so just for the collectability of it. More so than because I actually want to build it. <laughs> Because I'm going to be building the Eagle Moss one anyway, so I don't need two huge Titanics in my room in a space that I already have no space as it is. So what was I supposed to do with this piece? Again, I'm just moving on and not doing anything with the piece I just built. This needs to be attached. Where is this going? This is going on the front side. Whoop. Come up here. So where is this going? This is all going up in here. Oh, look, there's a nice little groove for it and everything. Ah, ah, ah. Oops. Ah, ah, Okay, there we go. We got it. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. So now let me go back to what I was originally doing, which was, now I'm making fingers. We're making fingers now. You can't snap without fingers. That's important. That's imperative. Oh, get over here. Sorry if I'm up in the camera, but now I'm having to reach way over to grab uh, to grab the parts. They're so far away from me now. I need to just move them forward. That's what I need to do. I just don't feel like it. I can get over here. It's okay. I have long arms. I have long arms. What am I doing? I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing everything wrong. We're going here. That's where we're living. This is where this goes. There we go. That's what we're doing. Ah, get over here. <laughs> okay, I'm doing that. And, ah, okay, I gotta get up. I gotta get up. I gotta move these pieces. I gotta move this. Okay, we need to readjust because this is getting too much here. Okay. Thrill as he slides pieces closer to him. This is the most exciting part of the build. Watching me slide pieces towards myself and you. It's like 3D, except not 3D. Okay. Gotta make life a little easier for me. Okay. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. I'm gonna jumble up my parts. I'm gonna jumble up everything now. Okay. I'll know what's what. I'll know what's what. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. cool. All right, there we go. We've got everything in easy reach now. That's important. That's all that matters. Okay. Oh, my God. Keyblade Knights. What are you saying, Keyblade Knight? I'm go. Thank you for all the fun. 
have made me out of my depression. Thank you for all the amazing job you have done and keep up the amazing work. Thank you so much. Thank you for those kind words. I appreciate it. Hey, you know what? It's, I, I, I get comments like that a lot. You know, people saying, Oh man, your videos, you know, have gotten me through, through, you know, rough times and whatnot. And that's just, Oh my God. I mean, it just, it, 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 it fills my heart. It fills my heart. And you know, I, I, you have no idea how, how honored I am to, to know that I have been able to at least help you in some, you know, what I do helps you in some way. If it's just putting a smile on your face and getting a laugh out of you when you were feeling bummed out, like, Hey, I'm, I'm glad I could do anything. You know, I, I just, one of the great things about doing this is that, you know, I, I get to be a part of your life in some weird way, <laughs> in some weird way, shape or form. Like I get to be a part of your life and that's, it's so cool. I get to, you know, I get to come into all your homes and be a part of your life for a little bit and hopefully entertain you. Hopefully, you know, get you to laugh, get you to smile, you know, even get you just, even if it's just to get you, even if you don't laugh at my stupid jokes, even if you just get a little smirk out of it, you know, Hey, I've, I've done something. <laughs> so it is always an honor and a privilege. So thank you. Thank you for those kind words. And I am glad you are well. Because that's the most important thing. As long as you are well. As, you are, as long as you are well up in the nogular region, up in that noggin of years, as long as everything is good up there, everything is cool. That's the most important thing. So there we go. So we have built a finger. That's a finger. Not a finger. There we go. So we built a finger. And we are going to attach said finger. Where is this finger going? Right up here. Right there. We have a finger. There we go. Now, again, for the sake of time, I have already put together his other fingers. <laughs> so we're just going to put in his other fingers here. Now he's going to have all the fingers. I didn't build his thumb. We're going to build his thumb, but I did build the other fingers there. So there we go. He has his fingers. Yay. There we go. Fingers. Hooray for fingers. We got fingers. There we go. So let me fast forward here through the instrucciones because I already built all this. We built his fingers. We built his fingers. And okay. So now we are here. Now we are here. What are we building now? What, what, what is this? You got more gold. I like this gold. It's not like a shiny, shiny gold, but it's just shiny enough. It's like a muted kind of gold, but I like it. I like the shade. It pleases me. It pleases me immensely. Okay, so where are we living here? We are living... Oh, gold! Yes, Daniel, gold! Have you got the self-transforming Optimus Prime? I did pre-order it. I pre-ordered mine directly from Robosun um, because the ones on Hasbro Pulse uh, sold out. So I ended up having to pre-order it directly from Robosun. Um, they're supposedly going to start to ship them sometime this month. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. But I did pre-order it. So once, uh, whenever it gets here, you know, we'll do the review on it. But yeah, I missed that on the pre. I missed that on the pre-orders because I um, I had a credit card issue. Well, the credit card issue was my credit card was expired. I didn't realize it was expired, and they hadn't sent me a new one. Like they're just supposed to automatically send you a new card when your old, you know, when your current one's about to expire. And they never sent me a new card, so I had to call them up and be like, "Hey, can you send me a new credit card because it's, it's expired and I need a new credit card?" They were like, "Oh, sorry about that." We're sending a new one on ASAP. And of course, by the time the new one got here, the pre-orders on the Hasbro Pulse sold out. So I was like, okay. So I initially thought, oh, okay, I'm not getting one. But then um, Robosun had pre-orders up and I was like, oh, cool. I can still get it. So I got it directly from them. But I believe the people who ordered it from Hasbro Pulse, I think already got theirs. But which sucks, but oh well. It is what it is. I gotta wait. I gotta wait. 
Oh, what's this? Here I'm Kritsuri stop motions. Years ago, I lost my will to live because I lost my wife, but I start to collect transformers and see your videos. And that make me that make my depress more soft. I get I understand what you're saying, but soft and I'm and I'm in peace now. I enjoy the life. So thank you, bro. Thank you very much for that. I'm glad you're okay. And my condolences. My condolences for your loss. It sucks to lose a loved one. I mean, I know we've we've all lost loved ones. And there's, you know, nothing more heartbreaking than losing a loved one. So hey, I'm, you know, hey, I'm I'm glad I was able to help you get through that. And I, I'm glad you're okay now. I'm glad you're okay. You know. Just things. This is it's, it's just life. <laughs> Those unfortunate things that happen in life. That we have no control over, you know, but it is what it is. We just have to trust in ourselves at the end of the day that we can get through whatever hardships life may throw at us. You know what the meaning of life is? I'll tell you exactly what the meaning of life is. The meaning of life is dealing with it, <laughs> is dealing with what life throws at you. That's what life is basically is dealing with it because life is going to throw a lot of stuff at you. It's going to try to keep you down. It's going to try to life is going to try to screw you up in every way possible. And it's how you get through those situations that will determine what kind of human being you are. And if you can make it out the other end, relatively unscathed, you're all the better for it, you know? As they say, what does not kill you makes you stronger. So do what you can to make life not kill you. <laughs> At least for as long as you can, because eventually it will, but you know, <laughs> not to get morbid, but you know. <laughs> Nobody lives forever, but you know. Do what you can to keep it at bay for as long as you can. <laughs> Uh, but anyhow, uh, anyway, what are we doing? Almost there. We are almost there. We're almost done. We got this, this, this last little row of parts here and we will be done with the build. Okay. What are we doing now? We have three of these and we are doing what's, what's, what's here. What's, what's, what's here. What's 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 here and what's 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 here. Okay. I think this is his thumb we're building now. Because he needs a thumb. You can't snap without a thumb. You can't snap without a thumb. You just can't. You just there's no way to snap without a thumb. That's impossible. That's just impossible to do. Uh Stephen Fox, what happened to M Games? Stephen Fox, I recognize your name. I believe you've asked me this question in the comments section and I answered you, but apparently you don't check your replies. How dare you not check your replies? But I'll answer you here. Um, M Games is done. M Games has been done for a very long time now. I don't upload to that channel anymore. It's a, it's, it's a dead channel. M Games is a dead channel. Um, I just, I did not have the time to keep up with it anymore. I could, I did not have the time to devote to it. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it just got to the point where it was just like, this channel was taking up all of my time and I was not able to, to keep up with M games and M games was suffering greatly for it. So I was just like, you know what? We're just going to call it. <laughs> We're just going to call it with M games and be done with it. But Hey, you know, I mean, it's funny because on a regular basis, I have people asking me like, why do you still plug M games? You don't upload to it anymore. It's like, well, it's because it's because the content is still there. It's still there. If you want to check it out, it's there to check out. If you want to see what I did back in my YouTube gaming days, you can, you know, the content's there if you want it. That, hence why I say check out M games, not subscribe to it because there's no point in subscribing to a channel that I don't upload to. Um, but yeah, I mean, the content is there if you want to check it out. But as far as uploading to that channel anymore, no, that channel, that channel's done. That channel's Dunsville. But, you know, I still, I still plug it because, you know, that's like four years of work that I put into that channel. So I'm not going to pretend it never existed. 
like some YouTubers do. Some some YouTubers do that. Some YouTubers just totally just refuse to acknowledge that they had any other channels. It's like, no, look at them. Hey, I did M games. Go watch M games if you want to watch it. It's there. Hey, you can get some laughs out of watching me play, you know, Fall Cybertron, War for Cybertron. Some horror games too. I think I played Tomb Raider. I didn't finish Tomb Raider, but great game though. Tomb Raider was an awesome game though. But I never finished it. But you know, it's there if you want to check it out. Hey, look, he has a thumb now. He has a thumb. Look at that. He has a thumb. Look at that. He has a thumb and fingers and everything. <laughs> oh God, we're going on in hour, hour 24 minutes, hour 25 minutes now. We've been doing this for a long time. See, now, if this were a regular video, I would have totally time-lapsed, like, the majority of this. <laughs> but since we're doing it live, there is no time-lapse. You can't fast-forward life, people. You can't fast-forward life. And why would you want to? Why would you want to fast-forward through your life? No, no, please. I want to... I want to experience life for as long as I can. I don't want to fast forward through it. Who would want to do that? The only thing I would fast forward is maybe waiting in line for stuff. That I would fast forward through, actually. You have to wait in line for something. That's the worst. That's the worst thing ever. That I'll fast forward through. Be like, don't be like a half hour wait. I'll be like, bloop, I'm next. You know, that I would do. No problem. Just fast forwarding through life in general? No, no. If anything, I hit the rewind button. <laughs> That's what I would do. If anything, I'd hit the rewind button. Because that's the way life is. When you're <laughs> it's that it's that really funny thing. When you're a kid, you can't wait to grow up. And when you're grown up, you just want to be a kid again. That's the way it works. That's the way life works. That's going there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks fancy. Look at that. Oh, oh, and I already built the other side because, again, just for the sake of time, since they're both the same, just mirrored. I already built this one, so we'll just pop that one on. There we go. Oops, there we go. Ah, 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 we're getting there. So, we don't have too much to do left. Oh, my god. So I hope you guys are enjoying your time here. We have what, 208 people, 208 people. And I'm sure the second I cut off this live stream, somebody's going to say, I just missed it. Even though we've been here for almost an hour and a half, somebody's going to jump in at the last second and be like, oh no, I just missed it. Sorry, sorry. You can't say you didn't have enough time. Yeah, do we, we, we've been here for, for almost an hour and a half now. So you can't say you didn't have the time to get here. I gave you, I gave you plenty of time to get here. Okay, so now we're just putting on the, the nameplate. In case you're wondering, it says Infinity Sauna. Inf Inf Infinity Sauna. It's the Infinity Sauna. It's where you go to detox. The Infinity Saga. The Infinity Guntlots. Because we're building us a Guntlots. You know what? Let me take this off the clip because it'll be easier to do. Instead of trying to put this on while it's attached. There we go. That's easier. There we go. Boom. Infinity Guntlots. Oh, yes. So last thing we have to do now is the stones. We just got to put the stones on now. Infinity, de exactly. Infinity detoxing. That's what you do. That's what you do at the Infinity Sauna. You do infinity detoxing. Exactly. That's exactly what you do. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yes, the Guntlots. The Guntlots in the sauna. <laughs> uh, I love going to the Infinity Sauna. I know it's it's great. It's great. Oh, I'm going. You should go to Comic Con to get Transformers. All the cons, all the cons in my area have been canceled, as far as I know, anyway. I'll go to a con again eventually. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. We'll get back to a con eventually. So now we're just putting in our stones. Here we go. Here we go, peoples. This is the, uh, it's the final countdown. We're doing it. I don't remember what stone is what. What's the purple one? What's the purple stone? What's the purple stone? 
When Mr. Ninja, in all caps, don't you yell at me. Don't yell at me. When are you going to review the KO, oh, the, uh, the KO Constructor Cons? Uh, dude, I, I don't even know if any more of them are out. I've been looking and I have not seen any more of them. Unless you know something I don't, I have not seen any more of them. The last one I reviewed was the last one I was able to get my hands on. So I don't know if they've put out more. If they have, then let me know. I'll check. I mean, I'll check. Um, I'll check show Z and see. It's Mr. Ninja. It's just my style. I write in all caps. I like to yell. I like to yell all my statements. When he goes when he goes to McDonald's, he's like, I'd like a cheeseburger, large fries, and a medium coke. That's how Mr. Ninja is when he goes to when he when he goes to McDonald's. <laughs> anyway. As far as far as the constructor cons go, I don't know. I'll I'll look and see if they put out any more. If not, then there's just not any more. I can't I can't review things that don't exist. That's basically the way it works. So um it is what it is. I put the red one in. I don't think if you saw me. There we go. It's red. Okay. Um just a medium. Yes, a medium coke. A medium diet coke. I'm watching my figure. That's how Mr. Ninja does it. <laughs> You're a lovely human being, Mr. Ninja. You're a lovely human being. I appreciate you. Just letting you know. <laughs> uh, what's your name? iBlazer7 or LBlazer7. Hey, I'm Go. Hey. Hey to you. Hey to you. Hey to you. What happened to Kang Toys Predaking? I mean, they're still making the other ones. They, they just showed prototypes of of razor claw they just showed prototypes of razor claw so they're still working on it so i mean it's just a case of it gets it gets done you know i'll re review them when they put them out that's that's the way this works unfortunately again i can't review things that don't exist yet so they're still they're still making the thing they're still making the thing so once they finish making the things i will finish reviewing the things unfortunately that's just the way this business works but it will happen. It will happen. I'm looking forward to those Kang Toys Predacons. And did you see the pictures they put out of Dinobots? They're going to be doing Dinobots and Volcanicus. Like that, I'm like, okay. Okay. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. I'll get, and they look pretty cool, too. They're, they're very stylized. I mean, much like their Predacons, they're very stylized. But hey. I'm, 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 I'm all for that. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm a fan. All right. So we're putting this one in. Yeah. Boop. There we go. And now the final stone. Here it is. The momentous occasion right here. The final stone. Put that piece in. How's that piece go in? How's this piece go in? How's this even work? Is it going like this or is it going upside down? Oh, this is getting so anticlimactic. This is supposed to be a momentous occasion, and you're taking it away from me. You're taking it away from me. I guess it goes in like this. No? How is this going in? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? There we go. There we go. We got it in. We got it in. <laughs> okay. There we go. Boom. I like that each stone. Yeah, they made each stone different too. Like that's really cool how they did that. And we'll put this. You know what? I'm just gonna pop off this thumb. Just to make life a little easier. Watch, I'm gonna pull the whole thing apart. There we go. Okay. I was like, everything's gonna fall apart now. Okay, here's the final stone. There we go. Boom. Boom. There we go. The final stone. We'll put his thumb back on. Boom. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an hour and 33 minutes, but we are done. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's it for the instrucciones. Get out of here, instrucciones. I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. Get out of my life. There we go. We have us an infinity guntlats. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. That's cool. 
That is cool. I love it. I love it. Look at that. That is just so cool. Just very, just insane engineering to make this happen. And look at that. That's awesome. That is awesome. Cool. Cool. Are you going to get the light up kit for the gauntlet? Uh, Tony Greatwood. Um, I, I, you know what? I just saw when I was looking up, um, I was looking up pictures to use for the thumbnail. Um, I saw that there was an actual lighting kit for this. You can make all the stones light up. It's not expensive. I think it was like 19 bucks or something like that. I might get it. I might actually get it so I can light this thing up. I might actually get it because that would be really cool to actually have this thing lit up. Oh, my God. Mr. Ninja. Where is Mascot? Mascot! Mr. Ninja wants you, Mascot! Mr. Ninja! He wants you! Here he is. Hi. There you go. I think you scared him. I think you scared him, Mr. Ninja. Anyway, did I put his hand back on? No, he's he's still missing his hand. I have to put his hand back on. <laughs> Mr. Ninja, thanks! You're welcome! I'm blowing everybody's eardrums out right now. If you're wearing... Sorry, sorry to the people wearing headphones right now. I'm very sorry. Just know it's all Mr. Ninja's fault. It's all his fault. Blame him. It's not him. He's the one yelling. He started it. He started it. He was like, mm -mm -mm. He started it. Just saying. I'm just saying. Anyways, there you go. There's mascot. <laughs> there we have our Infinity Guntlats. That's all we're talking about here is Infinity Guntlats. There we go. Are you going to upgrade mascot? No, mascot doesn't need no upgrades. He's perfect. He's perfect as is. He don't need no stinking upgrades. Can we do the snap pose? We're going to do snap pose. I'm going to put it in the snap pose. We got to make it snap. I need to look at the box to see exactly how we have the fingers positioned for the snappage. So we just bend this one down and then bend this one down. There's like a little more. And then that one comes in there like that. And this one meets with the thumb like there. And then that one just kind of hanging out like that. And that seems about right. There we go. There we go. He's snapping. He's snapping. <laughs> I don't know why I get such joy from that, but I do. That's awesome. That's awesome that you can actually get in the snapping pose and everything. Yo, yo, that's cool. That is cool. I like it. I like it. I dig it. I dig it. I'm happy. <laughs> I don't feel good, Mr. Stark. Oh, no. He hasn't snapped yet. He just has his fingers in the pose. He hasn't snapped yet, so it's okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, I'm not wearing headphones right now. Good for you. You're lucky. You're lucky. Unlike the people wearing headphones right now, they are going to be mad at all the yelling Mr. Ninja was doing. Can you snap? I can't snap. Doesn't mean I will, because I'm wearing my infinity ring right now. So if I snap, bad things will happen. You don't want that. You don't want that right now. There you go. <laughs> but anyway, we're talking about the infinity guntlots. And that's cool. That was fun. That was that was fun. We've been here for an hour and 38 minutes. And I honestly don't want to go. I don't want to go. But anyway. <laughs> I'm having fun here. We could talk about we can talk to the chat for a little bit. We can look at the Infinity Guntlots and we'll talk to the chat. How many Transformers do you have? Zachary da Daly? I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. How many Transformers do I have? I don't know. I've I've Honestly, I've never counted. I have a lot. That's all I know is I have a lot of Transformers. How many? I don't know. I honestly don't want to count because the number will probably scare me. How many are down here? So, yeah. Um, how's the articulation? What, on the Infinity Guntlots? Look, I can get them into the snap pose and everything. Look. It's actually, the, the fingers are actually, like, fully poseable. You got ball joint here. You got a joint here. Each finger is a joint, 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 and joint. So it's actually pretty poseable. So, yeah, you can get them in a nice... 
Get him a nice snapping pose and everything. Ah. Can you review the deluxe class wheeljack from the Bumblebee movie? That is not out yet. That is not out yet. And I don't steal toys. So that's a case of I will review that when I actually buy one legally from a legal retailer. Because that's the way I do business. Because I'm a good person. Anyway. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Uh, how's the Infinity Gauntlet scale with Metroplex? What is it with the Metroplex? Can we move on from the Metroplex? Can we move on from the Metroplex? Come on now. Uh, Unicron plus the Gauntlet. Oh, God, no. Not Unicron and the Gauntlet. Uh, uh, Unicron with the Infinity Gauntlet would be, that would be even worse. As if Unicron wasn't bad enough on his own. Give him the gauntlet? Give him the gauntlet? Oh. What's this? Game, game Master, Gokai Galleon Key. What about it? Is there going to be a key? going to be a key in the movie? I mean, that's cool. Hey. I, I, I love Gokaiger, so no matter what they do, I will fully support it because Gokaiger is freaking awesome, and I'm glad they're bringing them back. I love Gokaiger. We review the other sets like this. I don't know. I mean, I did the I did the uh, the Batman cowl a while back. I did this. Um, they just put out. I think they just put out the uh, the Batman the uh, the Adam West Batman cowl. Um, I might get that, but I may do that. I may do that. Are you going to try to get the Super Shodo Gokaiger? I saw those. What are those? Are those like figure arts? Because I have the figure arts Gokaigers. So if they're the same size as the figure arts, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste the money because I got the figure arts already. So are they like bigger? Are they something more than I don't I don't know what exactly they are. And I read the news story on Toku Nation, and they don't really elaborate on much of anything. They're just like, this is coming out, and picture. So I don't know exactly what they are. So if you have any additional information for me, I will gladly <laughs> look into it. Um, uh, they're three or four inches. You have to put them together and apply to. Oh, they're oh okay. They're like the little. Oh, they're like those little kits. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So they're like those little Soto ones that I've been putting together for the other Sentai teams. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Well, if that's what they if that's what they are, then I probably won't get them because I don't need little smaller versions of them. I have the figure arts. I have the Gokaiger figure arts, and I'm very happy with them. So I don't need to. I don't need to buy them over and over again because I think the figure arts are really the best way to go if you want to have a nice set of Gokaigers on your shelf. So yeah. Well, now J-Master is saying they're like those, but fully painted. So are they fully painted or do I have to put stickers on them? Make up your minds. I don't know. Either way, if they're smaller, if they're smaller figures, I probably won't get them because I don't need them. I have the figure arts. Uh, Zachary Daly, what got you into collecting Transformers? Because I watched Transformers back during the G1 days. You know, I grew, I grew up with G1. G1 was my G1. Um... So I, you know, I grew up in G1, so that's when my love of Transformers began, was watching that cartoon when I was a kid. And I still love the franchise to this day. So, yeah. So Super, uh, Super Shodo are fully painted. Okay, so they're fully painted. Okay. Uh, what, what? Ahadu ah Chase Music. Why won't he notice me? I'm noticing you. I'm noticing you. I've noticed you. There you are. You're right there. I'm noticing you. Hi. How are you? How are you? You doing good? You doing good? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. Aha do chase music. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. <laughs> uh, uh, what's more powerful, the ring or the gauntlets? I don't know. I don't know if we want to get into that kind of battle. There's only one way to find out, really. I don't know if we want to go there. I think the world will suffer too greatly for that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh. 
What did you do with your G1 Ultra Magnus? I still have my G1 Ultra Magnus. I have him. I, my G1 Ultra Magnus is actually in his original box. I had the original box for my G1 Magnus, and he just, he's just, uh, he's chilling in his box. But yes, Santa Claus, notice me. I notice you, Santa Claus. Are you going to bring me what I want for Christmas this year, Santa Claus? I like a PS5. Can you get me a PS5 for Christmas, Santa Claus? Or are you going to fail me like everyone else has? <laughs> where is your g1 where is your g1 wheel jack mr ninja yelling again my g1 wheel jack is with my other g1 figures all my 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 loose g1 figures i have like in a little cabinet in my uh in my entertainment center so it's like this little cabinet like right next to my tv and i have my g1 figures in there so that's where my g1 wheel jack is he hangs out he hangs out Wilbert Alfaro. Hello, MGO. Hello to you, Wilbert. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Striker Prime. Why hasn't he seen any of my comments? I saw this one. I saw this one. There you are. There you are. You. 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 There you are. How are you? How are you, Striker Prime? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. Mr. Ninja's caps lock is broken. It probably is. That's probably what it is. It's probably his cap lock is just broken. And now just trying to cover up for it. Like, no, it's just it's just my style. It's my goofy, quirky thing that I do. Meanwhile, his caps lock button is just broken. He just doesn't want to get a new computer or something or a new phone. You know, it's just like, so now he's just kind of make up for it. Like, no, it's just my, it's my thing. It's a trick. It's a trick I'm doing. It's a trick. It's my thing. It's my thing that I do. <laughs> No, uh, what do I eat for Thanksgiving? I eat turkey and, and and mashed potatoes and the same thing everybody else eats for Thanksgiving. That's why I, I eat Thanksgiving food for Thanksgiving. You know, I'm not a vegetarian or anything, so you know, I eat I eat the turkey, I eat all that. I mean, you know, I mean, hey, if you're if you're vegetarian, if you're vegan, hey, you eat what you want to eat. It's your body; you put whatever you want in it. But me, I'm a I'm a meat eater, so I will be chowing down on some turkey. And then falling asleep. <laughs> Not ham. No, no, we don't do ham. We don't do ham in the Gomez family. Mom just make mom just makes a giant turkey and you know mashed potatoes and biscuits and uh and, and rice because we're Puerto Rican, so of course we have rice. Um, and uh um my my sister makes some mac and cheese and yeah i mean we still have we still have plenty of food we still we still stuff ourselves silly on thanksgiving so it's okay we don't need no ham but cool oh uh, zachary again what is your favorite live action transformers movie which one was my favorite honestly i think um i think age of extinction was my favorite one I thought Age of Extinction was pretty cool. My only my only disappointment with Age of Extinction was there wasn't. I wanted more of the di the Dinobots. I needed more Dinobots. But other than that, I thought that movie was the best one. Wilbert Alfaro, I'm Costa Rican. Oh, you're Costa Rican. Okay, I'm Puerto Rican. So you know we're both Ricans. <laughs> Hello to my fellow Rican. Hello to you. Hello to you. Uh, please answer M go. You don't notice what Bor Borax. I can't even pronounce your name. Boraxizium. Please answer M go. You don't notice. I'm noticing you. What is it? What do you want to know? What is it that you want to know? Keep in mind, there's like a million other people talking also. Why did you not review Mech Tech Dark of the Moon Cyber Fire Bumblebee, aka Murder Bee, at the time? Uh, will you ever do a throwback review of it? No, no, I'm not. Um, I didn't review it just because I just didn't review it. I don't know why I didn't review it. I just didn't do it. I didn't get around to it. And at this point now, yeah, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. But anyway. uh, I'll do a chase music. What, MGO, have you thought about my request yet? What request? You made a request? What request? You made a request? You're going to uh, you're gonna have to let me know. You have to you have to let me know. When are you gonna review G1 Wheeljack? Didn't I review G1 Wheeljack? I thought I did. Did I not? I thought I did review G1 Wheeljack. Or maybe, I did. No, I did review G1 Wheeljack already. I believe I did. Go into G1 playlist. Go into G1 playlist and look. I'm pretty sure I did review G1 Wheeljack already. Uh, Joe G R Joe Gur. I never know how to pronounce your name. Is Joe is, is just Joe Gur? 
It's Joe GR. Joe Gurr. <laughs> Food Eye Model Windblade. Question mark? Um, yes, I have the uh, I have her on pre-order. Um, the Rodimus kit, I believe, is supposed to be coming out soon. Um, I just got an email from BBTS saying they're going to be getting that in stock soon. So once I get that, I will slap it together and we'll do a review on that. I love those Food Eye models. So yes, I will buy them. I will buy them. The other ones I don't care about are like the repaints. But any like new molds, I would definitely buy those. I, I love those kits. Uh, the request to do a comparison vid of all your combiners in their combined form. Be totally honest, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Sorry, I just I don't know. I don't I don't really see the point of doing that. I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. Sorry, but it's a good suggestion though. Good suggestion. As always, everything will be taken under advisement. <laughs> Oh, God. We're going on an hour 50 minutes. You know what? We'll just go another 10 minutes, making it even two hours. Why not? We'll go for it. Uh -huh. Can you please have Mascot use the gauntlet to flip off Sentinel Park? No! No! What's the matter with you? Have you? Are you going to fund the HasLab Proton Pack? I did. I did back the Proton Pack. I will be getting a Proton Pack. <laughs> And all y'all better back that proton pack too. We need you need at least nine thousand backers to get the hose that will connect it to the uh, neutrona wand. So we at, we at least need the hose. So if y'all are thinking about backing that, then you better freaking back it because I want that hose. I at least want the hose because there's no point in not having the hose for the neutrona wand. That's pointless. They really should have included that in the first place, but. They made it a stretch goal, so it is what it is. So it's 400 bucks. Yes, it's 400 bucks. It's actually the cheapest pro. I mean, outside of the uh, the ones you get at like the Halloween store, those are like dirt cheap, but they're, you know, they're cheap. They're dinky. They're like small too. If you want like an actual like good replica full-size proton pack, you're going to pay a crap ton of money for it. So actually 400 bucks is pretty cheap <laughs> for a proton pack. For a full-size proton pack, that's actually pretty cheap. Um, will you see Afterlife? Yes, I will see Afterlife. That movie looks awesome. It looks like it's going to be so good. It looks like it's going to be so good. Uh, sar Saran Wrap? Saran Wrap. <laughs> uh, how many years have you actually been on YouTube? I subbed back in middle school and now just got my first engineering job out of college. Wow. I've been doing this. This December will be 13 years. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing this for 13 years. This December will be 13 years officially. It's crazy. It's crazy. But look at my Guntlots. Look at my Guntlots. Guntlots. Anyway. Will you finish the Devil Savior Devastator set? Yes, I will. Um, the, the next one, I am waiting for the next one to be delivered. It's on its way as we speak. So once that one gets delivered, I will review it. And then there's only one more after that. So whenever that one comes out. Yeah. So we're almost there. We're almost there. It's just, you know, I'm just... I'm just waiting on Devil Savior. I'm waiting for them to finish putting out the figures. The reviews happen when they put the figures out. So it happens when they allow it to happen. That's how this works, unfortunately. Um, Mgo, opinions on Lego Transformers. They seem pretty cool. Um, I mean, I used to... I, I did get the... Um, what were they called? The Creo ones, the Creo sets. I got a bunch of Creo sets back when they when back when those were out. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. But those Creo sets, they were they were okay. They weren't bad. Oh, yeah. Will you review Beast Wars Magmatron? I don't know. That's that's an I don't know. That's the best answer I can give you. I don't know. Mgo, you started when I was born. Are you serious? This is Ab Ahab, Ahab, I'm sorry if I'm totally butchering your name. Ahab do music. Ahab do chase music. I'm sorry I'm probably butchering your name. I started when you were born. Oh my god. That makes me feel so old right now. But anyway. <laughs> Can you please have mascots slap him instead? Would that be no, no, there's no violence. No violence. No violence. I try to keep them apart. Okay. I try to keep them apart. That's not we're trying to we're trying to maintain peace here. Okay. So there's not gonna be any violence. It's not gonna be any robot on robot violence. And there's not gonna be any mascot on robot violence, I should say, unless it is authorized by me. 
during a review because you know sometimes when mascot does reviews like he just goes off on his own and i have no control over him but you know it's, it's when i do have control you know we try to we try to keep the peace you know what i mean you know what i mean have it hold a vice stamp <laughs> i don't know if he could hold the vice stamp actually i don't know i don't feel like getting up to grab one so that's not something i can test right now <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm not talking about the Creos. I'm talking about the custom made mocks that actually transfer. Oh, okay. Custom. Oh, I mean, as far as like custom, I mean, as far as custom ones that people make custom Lego transformers. I mean, Hey, cool. Cool. Again, people are way smarter than me that can create these things. So I'm, I'm all for it. I did, I did uh, do some videos on a couple sets that actually do transform. You have to parts form them though, to make them transform. But I know people have made like Lego sets, that don't need the parts form at all. I mean, hey, that's cool. Again, people way smarter than me, and that's awesome. Creativity at its best. Oh man. What is this? Heum Kutsuri stop motion. The bluish. What? The bluish are not the answer. It's the question, and the answer is yes. Okay, cool. Will you finish the Fans Toys Minosaur set? Yes, again, it's just I'm waiting on Fans Toys. I'm waiting on them. The reviews happen when they put out the figures. So if they haven't put out the figures, I can't review them. I can't review something that doesn't exist yet. That's just the way it works. So I'm just waiting on Fans Toys to uh, put out whatever else we need because I'm, I mean, there's still, what, one more guy to go? One more guy to go, and I'm assuming they'll put out something to make them combine. So, yeah. It is what it is. Just waiting on them. As far as combiners go, I mean, they don't put out all the figures at one time. They put them out slowly. I mean, it usually takes like, as far as a third party combiner goes, it usually takes like over a year for a company to finish a set. That's, that's the bare minimum. It's like over a year to finish a set. I mean, I don't even remember when I reviewed the first Devil Savior guy, when I reviewed Split. I don't even remember when I reviewed that. It's been that long. So yeah, it takes a while for third parties to put these whole combiners out. So, you know. Again, the reviews happen when they put the figures out, and it's just I'm just I'm just waiting on them. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Oh, uh, I guess he is not doing the super mega infinity bluish. <laughs> uh, he can't bluish. He's not bluish compatible, or maybe he is. I don't know. I don't know if Lego is bluish compatible. I know somebody sent me a picture, I think, on Twitter saying that there was like a Lego piece that was bluish compatible. My bluishers are off in a corner. I can't get them right now, but you know. Uh, the Infinity Gauntlet, it's in one-to-one -one scale. It, no, it's not one-to-one. Well, maybe for me anyway, because I have small... I could actually wear this now. <laughs> this is actually... I have little girl hands, so actually I could probably wear this if I, you could put your hand in it. Maybe not. I don't know, but yeah. No, it's not one to one scale. The actual Infinity Gauntlet is like pff, enormous. Because Thanos was, he's, he's a big guy, so he needs a big lots. Uh. Blah, 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 blah. I want to go into collecting figures that are affordable and playable in EU. Is that possible? I am 32. What is your name? Mitch, Mitch, Mitchy Gio. Mitch, Mitch Gio. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, here, here's the rule for collecting. A lot of people, I, I, I get this question a lot, actually, of like, I want to start collecting. I don't know where to start. Where should I start? What do you think I should get? You know, you know, what's in my price range and blah, 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 blah. Here's the way collecting works. You get what you want. You get what you like. And you also get what you can afford. Also, because budget obviously plays a part in it. Get what you can afford, but at the end of the day, get what you like. Get what appeals to you. That's the way collecting works. Get what appeals to you. Get what you feel will work best for your collection. That's It doesn't really get any more complicated than that. Just get what you want. Get what you like. Um, you're going to end up buying something you don't like. I mean, that's just... And, and here's another reality of life is that it doesn't matter how many reviews you watch. It doesn't matter how many reviews you read. You're going to buy something you end up not liking. It's just a fact. It's going to happen. It's going to happen often <laughs> in life. It's just going to happen. But, you know, at the end of the day, you don't really know if you're going to like something until you just buy it. That's just the reality of it. Like 
what like the things I buy to review, I have no idea if they're going to be good when I get them. I don't know if they're going to be total crap when I get them. I don't know if I'm going to love them, if I'm going to hate them. I just see the picture. I'm like, hey, that looks cool. I'll pick it up. Why not? And then when I actually get it in hand, that's that when I that's when I come to the conclusion of do I like this? Do I not? Is it good? Is it not? You know, at the end of the day, you really don't know if something is good until you just buy it because you're always going to get conflicting reviews. You're, you're always going to get somebody saying, I love this best thing ever. I hate this worst thing ever. You're always going to get it. So you really just have to decide for yourself. Ultimately, no amount of reviews are going to help you with that. Really, honestly. Um. What are your thoughts on a new Transformers movie coming soon? Rise of the Beast. Um, I mean, there's not much to go on. We've just been seeing pictures of cars and trucks. Optimus Prime looks like Optimus Prime. <laughs> I mean, that's all I can really say until, I mean, until we get like a trailer, an actual trailer. I mean, they did, they pushed the movie back to 2023 now, unfortunately, um, which sucks, but oh, well, hopefully it'll be worth the wait. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I can't have too much of an opinion on it because we haven't really seen much except some pictures of cars and trucks. But when we finally get a trailer, then I can, uh, I can finally have some kind of thoughts on it. Oh my God. What are we doing here? We're going on. We're already at two hours. We'll read a couple more. We'll do a couple more and then we're going to sign off because this has been, this has been long. This has been long. What are your thoughts on Mecha Live, Dark of the Moon, Voyager, Starscream? What is that exactly? You're going to have to explain to me what that is. I'm not sure what you are speaking of. I know there's some KO Starscreams out there, some KO MPM Starscreams that are out there. Is that what you're talking about? If that's what you're talking about, um, then cool. If not, then you're going to have to explain to me. <laughs> uh, Oh, God. You know, you got Optimus Prime and Ratchet and Bumblebee. Then you got Ayo Dino. <laughs> that was the one that, yes. I remember saying that. I remember saying that. Because it's funny. It's like that. that it was like, like Dino is just like the, the, the most non Transformers Transformer name. Because it's just like Optimus Prime, Ironhide, Bumblebee, Ratchets. Then Dino. Ayo Dino. <laughs> uh, that's funny <laughs> i remember that will you buy more masterpiece figures of course i'll buy more masterpiece figures come on now i do have the um what's her name the remold the, the repaint remold of rc i forgot what her name is already the ninja chick the ninja chick that they uh are using the uh, RC mold for. I forget what her name is. All right. Nightbird. Thank you, Nightbird. Thank you, Joker. Nightbird. Yes. I have Nightbird on pre order. So when she comes out, we'll take a look at her. But yeah. Yeah. Of course, I'll buy more Masterpiece figures. Duh. Of course. As far as Masterpiece stuff goes, like the only thing I don't buy is like the repaints. Like I don't, you know, unless it's like, I mean, like I, I bought Ironhide and then I, and I bought Ratchet because obviously if you have Ironhide, you have to have Ratchet. I mean, Ratchet was like a main character. Even though he's a repaint, he's a main character, so you got to have Ratchet and Ironhide. But like Nemesis Primes and like the like the Seeker repaints, like I don't really care about the Seeker repaint re, re, reprints repaints. I've been talking for two hours straight, and now my voice is starting to not work anymore. My brain is starting to not work anymore. Anywho, <laughs> Jakub P, hi, I'm go hi, Daniel Brandt, squirrel, squirrel. Thoughts on a new Common Rider O's movie coming out next year? Cool. Hey, I'm I'm glad that some of these shows are getting to, uh, you know, make a comeback. I like it. I'm happy. Hey, I'm I'm for it. I'm all for it. I'm a fan. I am a fan. I am totally a fan. Uh, as I said, I am newbie in collecting, but I am worried about the stigma of collecting as a grown up. Don't care about what anybody thinks. That is my advice. That is my advice to you. I, 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 I get that a lot with people saying, you know, people kind of make fun of me because I'm a grown up and I still buy toys. Here's the deal. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna drop some wisdom on you. I'm gonna drop some knowledge on all of you here. Fun has no age limit. Okay, fun has no age limit. You know you know the phrase I use. You don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. That's what that phrase means. There is no age limit on fun. So as long as you're having fun, screw what everybody else thinks. Who cares? If you are enjoying yourself, if you are enjoying your life to the fullest, that is all that matters. Do what makes you happy. Nobody lives your life but you. So do what makes you happy. So if somebody has a problem with you because you're a grown-up and you still buy toys, so what? Ask them this question. Why do you care? I'm doing what I want to do. I'm happy. Why do you care what I spend my money on? I'm not spending your money. I'm spending mine. Why do you care? Simple as that. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Regardless of what anybody else thinks. There you go. There's, there's, there's the preach. That's right. Oh, my brother. Testify. All right. <laughs> so there you go. If you're worried about the stigma of being an adult collector, don't. Because there are millions of adult collectors in the world. You're not alone. <laughs> so if they're going to be like that with you, you don't need them as your friends. There are going to be plenty of other people you can find that will be your friends who are into the same stuff you're into. Simple as that. There you go. Those are my words of wisdom. Those are my words of wisdom for you. Along with the Infinity Guntlat. Anyway. Have you seen Godzilla vs. Kong? Yes, I did. It was awesome. Loved it. That was a really good movie. Really good movie. Loved it. Uh, Optimus1253, what is your favorite Transformer? Please pay attention to me. I'm paying attention to you. I'm paying attention. What is it? What? What? What is my favorite Transformer? I never have a good answer to that question. If you're talking character-wise, Galvatron. If you're talking toy-wise, I have no idea because I have so much stuff down here that it all just kind of blends together. And it's all just kind of like, uh, I can't just find one thing and go, that's my favorite, you know. Character-wise, Galvatron. Love Galvatron. The world needs more Galvatron. Oh, Emgar, are you getting fans toys? Fort Max and fans hobby Energon Prime. Um, what do you name? Halo Hunter 553. Um, uh, Fort Max? I mean, sure. I'll do it. I'll do it. And the, uh, what was the other one? The Aaron John Prime. Yes. The, the fa I love the fans hobby stuff. Fans hobby stuff is, is awesome. Um, apparently the Armada Prime had some QC issues. Luckily I did not experience any of those myself, thankfully. But, um, I love fans hobby stuff. They make, as far as I'm concerned anyway, they make really good stuff. So yeah, I'll definitely be picking up and they're doing, and they're doing the, uh, the Armada Megatron also. And it looks really cool. And yeah, I'll definitely be picking that stuff up. I love fans hobby. They've been doing a good job. They've been knocking it out of the park as far as, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, they've been knocking it out of the park. Okay. Peoples, you know what? You know what? I think we're going to have to sign off because we were going for two hours and seven minutes. And, um, the missus is going to be coming home from work soon. So <laughs> I think it's time we signed off, but we had fun. We built us an infinity Guntlats. Hope you all enjoyed the build. I hope you all enjoyed the live stream. Um, hope you all enjoyed the conversation. Again, um, I'm sorry if I didn't get to everybody's questions and comments. Nothing personal. There's just a lot going on right now, so I can't notice every single comment. So don't take it personally if I did not acknowledge you. I'm acknowledging you now. You, 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 all of you right there. All of you. Love you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you all. So, um... No, I just got here. I knew it. I knew somebody was going to just say, I just got here. I'm sorry. Look, we've been here for two hours already. Okay, I'm sorry. I gave you I gave you time. <laughs> sorry. Better late than never. But thank you for being here for the short time that you can actually talk to me. Thank you. Thank you anyway. Appreciate you being here. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, we're going to sign off, but again, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed the build. I have a nice infinity Guntlot now. I'm not going to make him snap us. I'm not going to make us snap us out of existence, but I'm going to leave him like that. Cause that's freaking awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> but there you go. Okay. 
we're done here. Let me sign off. So as always, things, links, stuff in the description down below. You know how it works. If you want to check out anything, it's in the description. Um, I'm losing my voice, so I'm going to go. I've been talking for two hours straight. I'm going to go and drink some water and eat something because I'm hungry. So <laughs> as always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Palm in your face.